Hi, I am Ajit Khan and I will be your instructor throughout the course. I am a senior DevOps engineer and a DIME instructor and a mentor. I am an AWS community builder too. I have been working as DevOps since last 7 plus years and I am passionate about learning things and sharing with community to help them learn in easy and efficient way. I simply follow the formula of keep learning and keep sharing. I have few courses on Udemy and a YouTube channel as well. Although I am not a fan of doing certification, but I am CK and AWS certified. Hi, thanks for opting in this course. In this course, you will learn a lot of things. You will learn many interesting things about performance optimization for your application, be it related to TCP, web server, or Linux based optimization that you can perform to speed up your web application. So in this course, you will learn what are the primers of optimization, what is TCP and how it works, what all factors that affect TCP connections and how you can optimize it. This course will also help you to understand bandwidth delay product and optimizing BDP with the actual demo and calculation, what is HTTP 1.x and its limitation and how HTTP 2 overcome the limitation of HTTP 1 and what all added improvements that you can get with it. We will do some hands-on on TCP optimization and various optimization for your web server that is being used extensively these days to serve your web application. We will also see some tools that can help you to optimize for example EDH tool and tuned and at the end what all best practices you can follow to optimize. Those practices will be evergreen and will be applicable for all your application performance optimization. You will learn what are the primers of optimization, what is TCP and how it works, what all factors that affect TCP connections and how you can optimize it. This course will also help you to understand bandwidth delay product and optimizing BDP with the actual demo and calculation, what is HTTP 1.x and its limitation and how HTTP 2 overcome the limitation of HTTP 1 and what all added improvements that you can get with it. We will do some hands on on TCP optimization and various optimization for your web server that is being used extensively these days to serve your web application. We will also see some tools that can help you to optimize for example EDH tool and tuned and at the end what all best practices you can follow to optimize. Those practices will be evergreen and will be applicable for all your application performance optimization. In the course, I have also included some interesting hands-on and demos related to Nginx. We are going to see what are Nginx expires headers and how we can utilize it to optimize performance. We will see about compression, how we can enable gzip and compression in Nginx. Then we are going to see fast CGI cache how it works and how we can enable it in Nginx. We will also implement HTTP2 in Nginx and we will see a hands-on by enabling HTTP2 module by applying SSL certificates and seeing the performance improvement after its implementation. We will make use of server push in Nginx and we will see how we can tell Nginx to send multiple resources at the same time linked with a particular resource. And apart from this, there is an interesting hands-on on BDP calculation. BDP stands for bandwidth delay product. So we will calculate it and we will tune performance and we will see what improvement it's bringing to us. And at the end, last but not the least, we will see evergreen best practices for optimization. I have compiled a list, but the area of optimization is really vast. There could be many areas and factors that can affect performance and you might need to optimize for many of them. Few might be relevant to your use case and few might not be. So it will be up to you to choose what works best for you. So welcome aboard again. So let's start the journey of optimization. See you in the next lecture.